All right, ladies and gents, in today's video, we're going to go over how to fish micro jigs and inch worms. I'm going to show you rods, reels, line, everything you need to do to fish these uh, much smaller mini jigs. So let's see how we do. Alright, first thing we want to talk about is uh, your rods and reels and line. Uh, what you're going to need to, uh, to successfully uh, fish mini jigs, and especially these micro jigs. Uh, the good news is you don't have to buy a new rod and reel if you've been fishing mini jigs. Uh, these, the same equipment will fish the micro jigs. You're just going to fish them a little bit different, and I'll get into that. But um, essentially, all you need is an ultralight rod in the 7 to 8 foot length. Uh, it can be either a fast action or a moderate action and a thousand or a two thousand series reel and then some uh, some good line which I uh, I prefer uh, Phoenix iron feather braid in either the four or the five pound uh, and then with that I tie on a uh, uh, fluorocarbon leader about a five pound fluorocarbon leader to that um, and I'll put a link up here uh, to my how to fish mini jig video so you can click on that and I go into a lot more in depth on the line and how to set it up and, and the rods and reels and all that but uh, here's an example of a, of a good rod for a very cheap price that'll fish mini jigs, the Shakespeare Micro Series. You can get these on Walmart. This thing's uh, 7 foot 6. It's just a graphite rod, but it's got excellent action, and they're only about 20 bucks. So you can get this, any 1000 series reel, and some decent line like your, your Phoenix Iron Feather Braid, or you can get the uh, Iser Line 2 pound smoke. Um, very inexpensive line and uh, either one of those lines will work outstanding uh, to throw mini jigs or these micro jigs All right, let's take a look at the uh, the micro kit and the uh, Inchworm kit now the inchworm kit comes with a bunch of different colors of inchworms got some orange peel uh, black ruby This is a blood worm Got a mealworm Good old yellow and white and uh, one of my favorites, uh, Caramel Apple. And then it comes with uh, uh, five 32nd ounce uh, uh, jig heads here, or ball heads. And I'll show you how I uh, rig these up. It's real simple. So I'm just jig heads out here. Take the, the big fat end, here's the skinny end down here, and thread that onto the point of the hook here. And thread it up around the bend here. It's tricky to get these on straight. And then push it through and slide it up and see how we, how we did here. Just about like that. So it sits as straight as possible right on that jig head. It's a little cattywampus. There we go. A little bit straighter. But sits just like that. And that's how you fish these, these bad boys. All right, let's take a look at this micro jig kit. So we've got a good assortment of jigs. We've got a little bump, Lou Ferrigno, full metal jacket, or I like to call it FMJ, uh, firecracker, black diamond, and good old pumpkin pie. And then you got uh, five jig heads of each. You got uh, five 32nd ounce and five uh, 164th ounce, which are very, very light. So to show you the size difference of these uh, jigs compared to uh, your regular mini jig, let me get out a regular one here. Mm, it looks gigantic next to that thing. <laughs> But this is your regular old standard uh, mini jig right here, and here's a micro, tiny, tiny bait. So that's why they're so important and uh, uh, so good at uh, activating a, uh, a near dead bite. Um, how you assemble these is, is just like any other uh, uh, mini jigs. Um, 
some guys like to go through the top i like to go through the bottom some guys like to push it through this way i like to go through the skirt and spread it all out here Just slide it in there all the way up to the top and then push that little eyelet hoop through and there you go perfect little micro jig and then these uh, 164th ounce you work these the same way um, but these are much lighter than the 32nd obviously so this is a lot harder to cast so when you're casting these uh, it's usually when the when the fish are up a lot closer or use it under a uh, under a rattle bobber and then you can get a little bit more distance on it but these are real great because these you can really really work slow and let it really fall slowly down in the water column and I'll, sh I'll show you a, a catch or two where I was using these and uh, was able to get onto them when the bite was uh, was pretty dead okay now let's talk about uh, when to use these baits um, and typically uh, what I like to do is I like to use them when I've been fishing in an area I may have caught one or two fish or I know the fish are there um, uh, and I'm not getting any bites anymore, or they just haven't, haven't uh, been biting at all so far. I'll size down my baits and go to a smaller presentation, a much slower presentation. And lots of times that provo provokes the bite, uh, and can turn them right back on. Um, uh, so it's, it's like I always mention the toolbox. This is another great tool to have in your toolbox because it gives you something to do, gives you somewhere to go, something to try. Uh, and lots of times, lots of times I've been, uh, been successful. So, uh, let's go out to the water and, uh, and do my favorite part, the practical application. So, uh, we'll be out there. I'll show you exactly how I fish them and, uh, uh, show you some catches on all these baits. So let's see how we do. All right. In this clip, we're fishing a small intake and, uh, we know there's, uh, there's trout holding in here. Uh, we've been getting a lot of short bites. So I decided to put on a, uh, 164 ounce, uh, micro jig and uh, watch the reel and how slowly I'm bringing that back and I'm letting it drop and trying to get it just to even flutter in the water like a couple times I think I, I don't even reel and I'm just still bouncing it just to see if I can make something happen keeping it as slow as possible and there fish is on pretty chunky one too Got that on the micro jig. Yeah, you got that one right there. Yep, little bump. Yeah. Mm. Damn, this one too now? Yeah, yeah. They're all funny. All right, the bite slowed down a little bit, so I switched to one of the new uh, GSF micro jigs and hooked up on the second cast. I think this one's a uh, copper one called uh, FMJ. Not decent. There we go, FMJ right in his mouth, a little micro jig. <laughs> Once again on the micro. Good one. Yeah, nice. Might be a two or a three. Nice. I forget the name of this color, they're so new. I think it's like a it's a pumpkin pie kind of looking color. It looks uh, brown and orange. Oh, we spit it. Is that that automatic release? Yeah. <laughs> so there it is. Yeah, it might be pumpkin pie actually. It's orange and brown. That little tiny micro. Let's see if we can get some more. Uh, yellow and white worm. Oh, stop. Oh, you 
good? Yeah. There you go. All right, show you guys the jig I caught that last one on. It's a uh, 132nd ounce ball head, kind of a dark green with a uh, Golden State uh, fishing uh, inchworm on there in yellow and white. I'm just working it back super slow. And that's what they're hitting. Let's see if we can get some out. Got him on the inchworm. No, apparently not. There we go. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, hope, hope it's been informative. Um, uh, if you want to get some of these baits or some of the other baits uh, Golden State has to offer, I'll put the website right here. And if you type in code CSPANKER at checkout, you get 10% off. Uh, likewise, uh, the RHA spoons I use, I'll put the website right here. If you type in code RHA hooked, you also get 10% off. So uh, uh, great baits to have and uh, uh, can't beat the discount code. So uh, go check them out for sure. And uh, till next time, well, I think uh, next thing is a uh, mud hole opener. I'll be out there uh, Thursday night uh, sleeping in my car waiting for Friday. So let's see how that goes. I <laughs> uh, hope to see somebody out there. And uh, until next time, tight lines. Uh -huh.